Hi, we are Pepperood Gaming. I'm Dragoon. And I'm Dirk. Thanks for watching. Through some trial, lots of error, and plenty of uh, interesting block crafting recipes, we have a fairly busy economy. Um, still a lot to learn about it, but you can kind of see the progress going on behind us. Can't lay around here all day. There's a realm to save. Or something. Are we saving the realm? Questline's kind of fuzzy. And a little broken. Well, we are ridding it of terrible beasties, at least. Uh, speaking of which, have you had any luck scouting out the nether monstrosity? Not at all. I've spent more time wandering the nether searching for that guy than I spend in total on most packs. Oh, <laughs> dang. That's ridiculous. Bebop and Boo Berry, let's get started. Uh, what? <laughs> You heard me. <laughs> Let's go. All right. <laughs> well, uh, since last time, uh, we've put in some uh, mine colony housing. Uh, we've upgraded this one a little bit, so it has two beds. Uh, and the more you upgrade it, the more beds you get, and the more residents can live there, which is cool. Put up a tavern, which uh, allows you to start getting kind of these migrants that show up. You know, get to hire more of them. Uh, as you raise the level of this, it actually stays capped at four, but it is a nicer accommodation. So I assume that brings in nicer people, or at least makes them happier. And uh, we hop back downstairs. This is the uh, one of the builder's huts. This has been upgraded a few times, and uh, it's kind of in the progress of getting updated again. And the courier hut, which you need to put up a warehouse. And then here's the courier. Uh, just kind of hanging out right now because there isn't much to move around. But uh, he'll be kind of taking things back and forth between the other residents. You have the logging area and he automatically will plant saplings that you leave and then cut them down to farm logs. We have a second builder's hut and we have a uh, fishing area kind of in progress. Hasn't really been started yet, but will be soon. I'm excited to see what this turns into. Yeah. Oh, and a farm. Forgot about the farm. And the restaurant so. up on the hill, too. In the mine. Oh, that's right. Well, they're not really operational yet, but we'll definitely show those off. So yeah. she's set to farm potatoes right now. And uh, this can be expanded. This is just the first level farm. And we'll hop over here to the mine. Quick hand break. The bone meal. That's excellent. It's so much cheaper than making that compost. Much faster, too. And here's the mine. It's not operational yet. Uh, I think it's been built, but no one's assigned to it, so no one's really working in it. But uh, the mine and harvest resources. I don't know if they actually break the ground, but it at least spawns resources, which is cool. I better be careful if they do. There's uh, quite yeah. the ravine below there. Yeah, quite the drop. And uh, here's the restaurant. This is only the first level of it, but uh, Nathaniel here will cook up raw ingredients and uh, make cooked meat, cooked chicken, uh, baked potatoes, all the good stuff to feed the villagers, which is very cool. Um, also, if you show up here hungry, he'll cram food in your face, which was a surprise. That uh, is not something I've experienced. It had to be low hunger. Once I was at three hearts, he would not leave me alone tried to leave, he chased me out of the house and uh, shoved more chicken in my inventory and ran back inside. Well, that's funny. I'll have to try yeah. that sometime. <laughs> um, and the other thing that we've seen, uh, maybe we'll see it tonight, is uh, kind of like raiding parties. So they'll have these little raiders that'll attempt to come and attack your villagers in the night, and you have to fend them off, which is pretty neat. They're pretty weak, kind of unbalanced for this pack and all the enchants and everything else that's been going on, but uh, still a pretty cool mechanic. The uh, the raiders drop these ancient tomes that are supposed to glow when there's going to be a raid that night, but it seems to glow every day, so I don't think it's quite accurate. Huh. But I did pick up one of those and didn't know what it did. That's good to know. I have another. I've got four on me. <laughs> Yeah, it does uh, 
does seem to glow all the time. Hmm. Maybe there's something else to it. Maybe. Well, the last thing I wanted to show off was we have this clipboard here. Um, early on, it it's kind of what lets you see the request going on, but this also works now that we have a lot more going on. This shows the request kind of all over the place. So trying to upgrade a builder. So there's all the requests for those materials. Uh, the Slick Snacker is the name of the restaurant at the top of the hill and looks like he's needing some more food to be delivered. Um, now the porter, their job uh, is to go around and grab all the stuff and move things around. So if these materials were available somewhere by a crafter or carpenter they would automatically deliver them to the builder. So there's where that automation comes in. Really excited to kind of flesh this out a little bit further. Well, I have also not had any luck with finding another Goblin King. So we are going to try manually clearing that quest because we have definitely killed him. Well, the golem did. We got the, uh, the achievement for it but not the quest unlock. And to do that, you've got to do slash FTB quests. And then tab, space, and editing mode. To true. I just enabled the editing mode for me. And I open up my quest. Oh, I'm here. Okay do this and complete instantly. Now it says we killed the Goblin King. In addition Good. to that one. Because we did. Yeah, we sure did. There is another one that I did that's been... Well, I killed it twice now and it hasn't given me the credit. It's the Mutant Wither Skeleton. Uh, it was about eight hours of waiting in total to kill one on a farm that I built for it. So I am not going to spend another four plus hours waiting for another one. I can show you that farm too if you need this. It's an optional quest, but you can complete instant on that too. You want to try spending a little time searching the nether again for the monstrosity? Sure. I think it's the next thing we need and hopefully we'll find it. If not, not like we didn't try. Oh yeah, I have spent so long searching. Okay, let's uh, go on through the portal, I guess. All right. Last one in is the poison potato. Auto finish. Uh, Hello. <laughs> well, I guess we can show off where we uh, spawn in. We spawn in on top of a city, on the roof of a building. Pretty crazy spawn, actually. Yeah, there's like more going up too. That's hard to show off on the map where I've been since it, uh, it keeps the track on uh, vertical chunks. But it looks like if we head east or west from here, west primarily, would be the least explored area. Okay. Oh, right. That would be why. Oh. That was close. I don't recommend. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take the ladder. One thing I have noticed while exploring the nether is that I have become so overpowered that I can just swim in the lava without worrying about it. It's just a, a slow swim. Crimson Gardens? Is it like an evil Sonic level? Sounds like it. Goodbye.
I jumped in the lava to the west of the base. Not the base, but the, the city. Gotcha. There's an obsidian spire right by where I'm headed. Obsidian skull just lost its 30 second buff, and my health regen is keeping up with the damage pretty well. That's not even at full satiation. Yeah, if you haven't made yourself an obsidian skull, you might want to make one. It gives you 30 seconds of fire resistance. Sounds like a good idea. So we got a strider spawn right here. Ah, there you are. Hello. This guy follow me too. Yeah, I think so. Uh, over here, it looks like there's an island that you can stop on. Ooh, something blowing up. And then make yourself a. Uh, what is this called? A warped fungus on a stick, I think. Yeah, warped fungus on a stick. Throw a paddle on one of these guys with my boko. Actually, I probably have the higher fire resist than you. Most likely. And we'll get another saddle out and get my own other guy. Oh. I'll leave this one here for you. Ready? Sure. Jump on. Lost it. Right behind you. Oh, that's why I lost it. <laughs> Watch out for those eyeball blocks. I crashed the server breaking one, so I'm afraid to do it again. As cool as they would be to have around. <laughs> cool, gruesome, you know, the same. Yep. This is all explored territory this way, so we gotta head to the west. Up with the frost magma. This dwarf is dying on it. <laughs> Dwarves aren't the brightest in this pack. Yeah, I've noticed that. This is actually the first time I've ever ridden one of these guys. It's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. I guess it's safe to leave him behind. No longer over a lava ocean. Shall we dismount? I suppose. Bye, friends. Sorry I never gave you that mushroom. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, spell book. You have the uh, launch and slow fall? Uh, no. I can get it real quick. Zombie piglins hate bees. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. That's funny. I bet you're driving them nuts. Man, they're not, they're not aggroing me, but every time I spawn a bee, they start going crazy. Okay. Is Leap the one you're using? Uh, nope, I was using Launch. I don't have Leap. I wonder how that is. 
launches the target in the direction they are looking. Amplification will increase the distance moved. Hmm. That might be a better option than launch. Uh, you want to make a second one and bring that to me? Or toss it in the Sure thing. Way? Yeah, absolutely. I forgot that you can do it that way instead of having to do it yourself. That's handy. Let's test this out. Ah. Okay. So it is just straight forward. There's no upward to it. So you probably have to do a combination of them. So maybe launch, then leap. It says the direction you're looking, so maybe you can look up and launch yourself at a 45. Thinking. Yep. Yep, that works. <laughs> That's pretty nice. I am ready when you are. Perfect. Give me just a minute to land on this another Zelda tower. And I'll swap this waystone out for a sure stone. It is on the sure stone as nether wastes. Here we go. Here I saw a pretty cool jellyfish. Now there's two of them out there now. Check those guys out. Oh wow. Take a screenshot of that. Be our thumbnail. Yeah. Eat a little food and fly to the west. They blow up when you shoot them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I think they're called like hydrogen bags or something. Pretty good there. It is. Um, hydrogen jellyfish. So that would make sense if they blow up. doesn't seem to attack. He does damage if you touch him, though. Oh, it's like a real jellyfish. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's these guys that are damaging me. The eggplants. They look poisonous. So maybe he doesn't attack. Oh yeah, stepping on those gives you poison. These guys are good. I haven't seen them before. Did you hear that? <laughs> hear what? Spaghetti. These, the, the sound these guys make, you should <laughs> check them out. Oh no. Oh, they're killing each other. The purgers? Yeah. <laughs> They're vomiting at me. And they sound like kids. <laughs> it's another new mob there. Looks like a capybara. Oh yeah, Bucky. Oh, behind me too. Oh, and the pigment at it? That's awesome. Yeah, sounds good, guinea pig. That's great.
Well, how much longer you want to search? I'm 26. I don't know, let's give it like maybe 15 more minutes. But... <laughs> Magma land. I found one. The boss? Yeah, no with the right monstrosity. Oh my gosh. Uh, coordinates? 537, 1726. And headed my way there. Unless you want to build a share stone and drop it. Sure. Just as we were about to give up, because we are Three minutes past the time that I said. And... Okay. It is placed. Another monstrosity. Awesome. You win. <laughs> got lucky. Now we have to locate it. As we go until the thing disappears and then we know we've gone too far. Oh, too far here. It's back that way it would be more towards the middle. And too far this way. So from here on the and way. there, it's got to be this way. That's the way I'm at. Oh, here's yeah. a structure Northwest. I haven't seen before. On the floor of the nether. Also down? Okay. Yep. Oh, there he is. Yeah, all the way down on the lava floor, just off of it. I think he just landed in it. Here he comes. Ready or not. around the corner till I see you're here. Oh, I'm here. I'm shooting. Oh, you are. Weird, I don't see you. Those lightning bolts hitting at her from me. Oh, okay. I thought that was his mechanic. Oh, I see you up there around the corner. This torment quiver is really uh, pulling its weight. Sure looks like it. You got him. Nice job. Ooh. The Infernal Forge. <laughs> FYI, this is a pickaxe. <laughs> When in main hand, you can hit the block with a right click to cause wide area damage. Alright, Monstrous Horn. Uh, music disc, which is cinematic danger background music, no copyright. And the Infernal Forge, let's check it out.
Okay. Get ready to get pumped. Ooh, boss music. That's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I was killing my own boss. <laughs> it's a pretty cool area. This is a pretty cool area. Shut down some of the lava though. Oh, I am so glad that you found that. Luck. Yup. Okay, now just um Oh boy. Guest. So many more to go. Yeah, the hovel ghast and then the wither. Yep. Should we tackle the awful ghast? Maybe we do. Maybe we do get it. Okay. Well, lucky for us, I know the spot. Remember where your show stone is? Uh Goodness, no. It's uh, so up here somewhere. We could just plop another one down. Alright. To the awful guest. If you would be so kind as to right click on the share stone. The okay. top one, I believe, at least on mine. It says awful guest and wither skillies. Alright, we're here. Let me do some this brief inventory was. management. Clean this place up a bit, so it should be a lot safer than that last one I just found. Ooh, we got another star from something. Maybe, maybe the monstrosity? Yeah. Oh no, from the okay. quest? Yeah. Um, awful ghast. How do you... The spawning anchor is at the top of this set. Okay. Block up there. Gonna have to check online to see how to spawn it though. This doesn't say in the quest book. Well, you might hit it with the nether star. Might be why it gave us one. I kind of recall. Yeah. Oh, yep. Oh. Yep, that was it. I, I didn't even do it. I just got close, I guess. Oh no, I, I right clicked it with another star. Uh, oh jeez, my one shot took off a third of its health. We got this. It doesn't like arrows. And arrows don't like it. Congratulations. Thanks. All that's left now is the, uh, the wither. Got any... Fun ways to kill one? I imagine it'll be easier than these guys. Any of you guys have any ideas? Maybe you can leave a comment. Yeah, good call. How do you want to see us kill it? Craziest method wins. Let's go. Well, that was cool. Yeah. What do we get for a reward? What did he drop? Well, it dropped the catalyst for the undergarden. 100 XP. And it also dropped the awful gun, which shoots awful gassed fireballs. Um, some gas tears. It's 
Let's see. Well, that's fun. <laughs> I think he shot the wall. <laughs> no, I shot the bee. Oh. All right. Poor bee. Sprite with no bees. Oh, wait. Point that thing my direction. I think. Oh, that's cool. It's got like a uh, a jellyfish on the front. <laughs> Little baby guest. Yeah. Oh, hello. Manly fly swatter. Very manly. Here, give this thing a shot. Does it use any ammo? Uh, not as far as I can tell. Packs a punch. And you can enchant it too, so you can throw the uh, indestructible enchant on that. Right. I've had enough creepy winding and cooing for one day. Let's get out of here. Okay. Alright. Finally that search is over. And we don't have to cheese our way through it either because we actually got credit for that one. <laughs> I know, I'm so happy. That final arrow strike and I saw the achievement and the quest complete. <laughs> I just thought we were going to get cheated again. Yeah. Awful gas would have been fine because you, know, you could pop out another one, but hunting down another one of those monstrosities after that? Nope. Yeah, no thank you. Alright guys, well I think that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, have a great night. Bye. Bye. Take the bow off. I did. I, I got the ham now. It doesn't do anything when I jump. Good. <laughs> safety first, right? <laughs> yeah, this is my safety ham. Safety ham. <laughs>